what's up everybody welcome back welcome back to the channel and once again thanks for stopping by because out of all the places you can be you're right here hanging with me so just a few minutes i was kind of just taking it all in i'll show you how everything looked i was kind of taking it all in this is the time of the year where everything is sleeping and i wanted to title this video that saying you know that old saying that your mind is like a parachute it only works when it's open and and what that means is i want you to look around each season whether it's at the beginning or the end whether you get some crazy uh pest pressure or or some kind of storm some kind of winter or whatever even heat uh, heat can kill plants just as much as just as much as the cold pan but what i want you to do is i want you to go into life with a solutions mindset and not really with a problem mindset and all i mean by that is is if you go into a situation only seeing the problem without first saying first reminding yourself that with every problem there's a solution with every obstacle there's a way to overcome it when you have that mindset and you open your mind to the possibility of solutions that's when things start to get better for you and all i mean by that is i remember when i used to see things like like i've been fighting trying to get this citrus this is like a sour kumquat trying to get it to grow calamundine i, I put so many things here and then this year, what I did was, I was like, so I said, I'm gonna plant me a fig here. The reason I planted this fig tree was because a few years ago, I planted this persimmon tree. The reason I planted this persimmon tree is because a few years ago, I lost about 13 citrus trees. And I started saying to myself, wait, there has to be a way to get production. Like people have trees and fruit trees around here. And that's when my mind opened for the first time. It was like, you probably had too many citrus trees and not enough trees, another persimmon tree, not enough trees that could help you to withstand the cold temperatures. Now I'm planting pear trees. Now I'm planting, I'll show you. Now instead of fighting, and just planting, just saying, I'm gonna plant a citrus. I'm gonna plant an orange tree. I don't care if I lose it, I'm gonna still plant it. Now, yeah, I might plant a citrus tree, but I'm also planting mulberry trees. I'm also planting those trees that don't need all the babying, don't need all the extra input because I opened my mind that the world isn't just going to give you what you want it to give you all the time. Sometimes you have to just <laughs> give over to the powers that are greater than you. Sometimes you have to say, man, it's not going to work. It might work, but it's not going to work as good as I want. And that's what I was looking at. I was Everything I was doing, it would give me a little bit of production. I planted a whole line of sugar cane. It give me like four canes out of a whole line. I was like, okay, that didn't work because I tried to work against what I was supposed to do. I didn't till that. I didn't do anything. I just put sticks in the ground, dug some little trenches. On a new build, maybe that wouldn't work. Maybe this year it'll work if I redid the same thing because now the dirt is softer. Little bitty, little bitty clues like that to tell me that the ground was too hard the first year. This year it even looks softer. We're getting more rain now. All of those little things, when you open your mind, you start to kind of see why things are not working and what you can do to make things work a little bit better. So that's what I want you to do. Coming into this year, I want you to open your mind to the possibilities. And, and look, it's not about, it is, but it isn't, okay? I want you to start Plant some of those things that you like, that you want to fight with, 
that you want a baby that you really, really love and you just want to make it work. But also plant some of those things that just grow well in your area, whether you like them or not. Because let me tell you about hunger. You'll find out you like a lot of things that you never thought you would eat if you get hungry enough. If pears grow good in your area and you're like, man, I don't eat pears. How about plant two anyway? How about plant two persimmons anyway? How about plant some blueberries anyway? How about plant some of those things that just grow readily and wild in your area? How about do that? And then you start thinking about, hey, now I got those things established that, that just knock it out the park in my area. It's no work for me. Some This stuff, these, these pears and these persimmons are no work for me. Usually, the kumquat or the loquat used to be no work. Like the loquat's supposed to grow just on its own, but for some reason, for some reason it's not, it's not doing what it usually does. It's like it needs work now. And that's probably how the climate is shifting a little bit. But for the most part, grow some of those things that are easy to grow. And then you go into those battles of those things that are a little bit harder. So thank y'all for this little eight, nine, seven minutes, however, however long it's been. Thank y'all for your time. I'm gonna catch you on the next video. And remember, you can grow what you wanna grow, but also you need to grow what you need to grow. All right, take care of yourself. Talk to you later.